Today we are learning how to tell time on a clock. Now I expect you already know a little bit about clocks. You know this short hand is the hour hand, and the long one is the minute hand. You know the numbers around the clock represent the hours, and you can imagine skip counts of five to represent the minutes. You know that this clock right now is showing two hours and zero minutes. You know that if the clock had 30 minutes pass, that this clock is now showing the time 2 hours and 30 minutes. But let's go backwards for a minute, back here. Let's figure out what time the clock is showing now. Well, my hour hand is pointing right here. It's a little bit after the 2. And because it's not to the 3 yet, we still write our hours as 2. We have 2 hours. Then for our minutes, we think about our skip counts of 5. We can see the minute hand is pointing at 15, so we have 15 minutes. This clock shows 2.15. And what about if we fast forward about 30 minutes and figure out what time this is? Well, my hour hand has moved, but it's still between 2 and 3. And because it's not at 3 yet, we still write our hours as 2. We have 2 hours. Then for minutes, we think about our skip counts of 5. When the minute hand is pointing towards the 9, it represents 45 minutes. This clock shows 2.45. Now it's time for us to practice together. Let's figure out what time this clock shows. Well, what should my hour be? My hour hand points here, between the 9 and the 10, and so we write that we have 9 hours. For minutes, how many minutes do I have? Remember when the minute hand points at the 6, it represents 30 minutes, so the time is 9.30. Here's another problem for us to practice with. What time does this clock show? Well, what is my hour? My hour hand points right here. It's a little bit past 8, but I'll still write it as 8 hours. Then for minutes, how many minutes do I have? Remember when the minute hand points at the 3, it represents 15 minutes, so my time is 8.15. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What time does this clock show? The hour hand points between the 10 and the 11, but because it's not at the 11 yet, we still have 10 hours. We write down 10. Then for minutes, remember that the 9 represents 45 minutes, so our time is 10.45. Now here's your last problem to practice with. What time does this clock show? Well, my hour hand is between the 6 and the 7, so we write 6 for our hours. Then for our minutes, we remember that the 3 represents 15 minutes, so our time is 6.15. Today you learned how to read whole hours, half hours, and quarter hours on a clock.